Hello and welcome to MCN. We're somewhere very special today. We're deep within uh, BMW's R&D facility where we've been invited to have an exclusive look at this, which is the BMW HP4 race. Uh, the world's first off-the-shelf carbon fibre track bike. It's a really, really special bike with 171 kilos fully fuelled, which is 35 kilos lighter than an S1000RR, and 215 horsepower. I'm joined here with uh, Josef Meckler, who's the head of four-stroke, four-cylinder, and six-cylinder strategy. That's correct, isn't That's it? That's perfectly correct. Uh, to talk to you about the bike, I mean, the, the, main, the main headline change is this, the carbon fiber frame. Yeah. Um, could you tell me a little bit more about it? Yeah, when we, when we take this frame, you can take the lighter one. <laughs> this one is the heavy one. This is 11.8 kilo, and it's built of three different kind of parts. The steering head, middle part, and the rear part. And you, if you have this one, your nice one, yep. then it's four kilo lighter. And you have just one part. It's from the front to the rear, it's one piece. Uh, and it's, uh, the goal of that is you, we can play around with the stiffness and the flexibility. So that means here in this area, maybe we need a little bit more flexibility. We can do that. Down. Yeah, it's, it's easier for you. <laughs> and we can really play around. This is, this is the big advantage because if you have a frame, you have to work with two different kind of, uh, of stiffness in terms of braking. You need a lot of stability, mm. but if you have the stability of braking, if you go in the corner, you need flexibility maybe in the part of the corner. So you can play around with that. With aluminium, this is much more difficult. Mm. So what's the weight, the weight difference between them? You said it's four kilograms. It's four kilo. So Minimum this weighs kilo. seven kilos and this weighs 11. 7.8. 11.8, yeah. Unbelievable, yeah. unbelievable And you, if you hear this, then you really hear how light and how thin of course. the so frame is. A carbon fibre frame is something that uh, is completely new and yeah. is something that in the past has taken any kind of large carbon fibre structure has taken a huge amount of time to produce. Yeah. Um, if I'm correct, BMW have uh, pioneered a way to mass produce the frame. Absolutely. Could you, could you explain that? When we start with the first prototype of frames, we need four person, one mm. week. And now we need two hours and the whole frame is done. So we put, we have one piece of, of layer here. This is one, it's, it's not a layer like that. As you know from the parts, like this material, it's really a layer like that. It's one part, we put it in a machine, all inserts are inside, we put it together, produce it, RTM uh, mold it, and then we take it out, machine it here with robots, and then it's done. It's crazy, it's crazy. And the benefit is of the frame is really, as I said before, it's extremely light. It helps you in, in terms of braking stability and, and flexibility in terms of corner. Because when you're really deep in the corner, the suspension is not able to work because the suspension has no weight and the tire can do that and we work with the frame. It's a very, very interesting thing. Um, people in the past have... Uh, been a bit cautious about use of carbon fiber and structural things on bikes. I mean, people, for example, there's always been a bit of a bit of a bit of a fear of yeah. carbon fiber wheels and carbon fiber frames. Uh, what sort of testing processes have you gone through with this frame? Uh, every kind of testing process in terms of heat, of cold, vibration, as well with, with crashes. We take the whole bike, this kind of bike, mm. fully loaded with, with one person in terms of weight, and then just we crash it uh, on a, on the concrete. And the only part what, what, what you have is maybe some, some scratches here or something like that. Yeah. So carbon will never explode us as people are implone. If, if it's doing like that, then it's, then it's a cheap carbon. Maybe it's coming from, from a bicycle from 10 years ago. Mm. But we have a, our process, we use the same carbon material as on our car side for the E8 or E3. And this is 100% proved. Because the thing is, BMW has a bit of history with carbon Absolutely. fiber, doesn't it? When did you first start making cars with carbon fiber structural components? Uh, that's a little bit tricky question <laughs> <laughs> for me, but I know it was a M3 CLS with yeah. the carbon roof, but this is l more than 10 or 15 years ago. So on the, on the motorcycle side, we are the first now with this kind. And it's interesting, this bike's also got your own carbon fiber wheels, hasn't it? These are, these are manufactured in-house as well. Absolutely. If you look about this one, these are the wheels. Uh, maybe, Gegesh, you can bring us the part on the table inside. 
the little one. So these are the wheels. And what was really interesting is about if you look about standard wheels or forged wheels from our HP four, which are really light. This one even lighter. These wheels are 700 grams lighter than the other ones. And where we found the weight is outside. Mm. And if you fi find the weight outside, it helps you in terms of braking because you have less rotation mass and as well in terms of turning. If you do it like this with these light wheels, it's crazy. It's, it's crazy how light it is. So again, a big saving over the forged wheel and again, probably a similar amount again over the standard S1000RR wheel as well. Yeah, f uh, from the forged wheels is more than 700 grams yeah. and about the standards is over 1 kilo point eight. And here we have uh, one sprocket. So you see the thickness of the material. This is really thick so, and it's extremely stable. So we make one test. We take a bike, ride with 30 clicks mm. on a concrete this size of high yeah. and just go with the wheel and go through and try to crash it. And what's happened is carbon construction made like this and going back and we have no flat tire. And you view this with a high-speed camera? Yeah, we do it with a high-speed camera and you see what's going on, it's doing like this and going backwards. If you use a full magnesium wheel example, it just crash and yeah. you have directly a flat tire and if you have a flat tire then you know what's happened. So this is safe, you can go back in your pit lane, look about the rim and then say okay something happened but your bike is still <laughs> Good, so you have just to change the wheel, maybe. It's really exciting. I think one of the things that's uh, really exciting about this bike as well is it's a machine that you can buy that is an off-the-shelf, cutting-edge race bike. Um, could you talk me through some of the rest of the bike as well? It's got a, a very special motor as well. Yes, the, the engine which we have inside is, is a mixed engine between the Endurance, uh, World Superbike Endurance engine and uh, the World Superbike engine. So we have 215 horsepower. And if you know it's BMW, when we say 215, then you get definitely one 250. Maybe if you'll see later, we have a little bit more. The torque is crazy. We have 120 newton meters torque. We increase the RPMs. Uh, we go now 50,500 RPMs, 300 more as a standard one. And we have four different kinds of riding mode, wet, intermediate, dry one, dry two. So it depends on your riding mode. We've as well reduced the torque and the power. So mm. you can extremely easily accelerate out of the corner, uh, less wheelies, super, super cool, and the big deal is our uh, dynamic traction control, we make it with ignition cut. So if you go in a deep angle, and you're really deep, and you go to the throttle, then you hear the engine like, bup, 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 bup. you don't have to feel it, you hear it, you're absolutely connected, and then you can accelerate, and you are just you're passing with this bike, a standard double or like in the past we did it with others. It's a, it's a really special machine. I think one of the things that I'm excited about is because of the way that you've productionized frames, um, this could be something that we could see in future applications on road bikes. We don't talk about uh, our future products, but <laughs> when we start here, you can imagine maybe sometime it will happen that we come with a carbon frame on other bikes. But at the moment we have it on HP4 race. And if you look about this, this as well, here we have the rear part of the frame is just this one. Mm. It's going just like here. Yeah. And we can just easily adjust the seat height in three dimension. 816 mils, 835 and 846 seat height. So you can really go to your seat height which you'd like to have. Just with one, one screw, open it and you can adjust it. Every bolt here around our titanium. So we use full titanium bolts as light as possible and uh, this is just air inside. So so compared to a uh, World Superbike, say the Altair yeah. BMW World Superbike, how does it compare performance wise? Uh, it's close on those level, yeah. maybe we have 3 or 4 horsepower less than they, yeah. but we are 7.5 kilo light. So it means a little bit less horsepower but even lighter so you feel in the end of the day, it's the weight which brings the deal. So really, it's lighter and more advanced than well supervised? Absolutely. If you look, uh, there's a regulation, it's called Park Ferme weight. Mm. Uh, World Superbike has to have 168 kilo. We have 160.5 and the MotoGP has 157.0. So that means we are just 3.5 kilo heavier than the MotoGP bike. And definitely less expensive than MotoGP. <laughs> So uh, cost-wise, you're looking at 80,000 euros, which at current uh, exchange rate is 72,000 yeah. pounds. 
it's a lot of money. But if you go just to Erlins and say, hey, Erlins, I would like to have uh, the FGR 300 fork, then say, yes, you can have it. Please give me 10,000 pounds. Mm. So <laughs> everything comes together. If you take this TXT, it's another 4,000. So in the end, it's every pound, every euro is it worth. It's, it's, a, it's a very exciting bike. And it's Absolutely. Some, it's something that we're very excited about uh, getting, uh, getting our legs over in the next couple of weeks. So. Uh, yeah, it's a really appreciate time today. Um, you can check out our ride of the HP4 race in a future MCN. See you guys. <laughs>